Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in James chapter 3 verse 6, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 7, and Matthew chapter 18 verse 10. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this word. Help us to heed it, help us to walk by it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, James chapter 3 verse 6. The tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The the tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life and set on fire by him. All right. So here God is letting us know that this tongue is dangerous in these last days, right? The enemy is baiting people. He's trying to get people to say stuff, lock themselves into verbal contracts, lock themselves up in in ways of cursing people that belong to God and therefore cursing themselves, slandering their brethren. God is saying, stop, 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 right? He is trying to get us to allow him to step in and allow our tongues to be bridled. He is a good God for doing that. He is letting us know, right? Before he comes, hey, your tongues are are doing doing a lot, right? And so we need to be very careful about um what we say to people being led by the spirit. Amen. All right, you guys, Hebrews chapter four, verse seven. Again, he appoints a certain day today, saying through David, so long afterwards in the words already quoted. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. So many people are hardening their heart when they hear the Lord. They're choosing not to follow in his ways in specific areas. Um, Maybe it's their entertainment. Maybe it's their shopping. And God is saying, don't harden your heart. Don't harden your voice. Right. God wants to use you. He is trying to get you to open your mouth for him. Right. When you're hardening your heart, what's flowing, the mouth speaks what's the overflow of the heart. Right. So today, if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Go and do the will of the Father. Amen. Um, all right. And so the third verse that the Lord gave me was Matthew chapter 18, verse 10. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that in heaven, their angels always see the face of my father who is in heaven. Wow. So these little ones, these people that we deal with, these children, as well as God's children in general, um, they can go before the face of the father about um, a concern for children, right? They can go before the father and say, hey, such and such is not treating them right. Such and such is doing this or that. And God was going to handle it in his own way, right? It says, see that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that in heaven, their angels always see the face of my father who is in heaven. So God's, um, God is in heaven, right? He is sitting on his throne. He has, um, angels that are coming and going. And some of them are representatives of a child that is being oppressed, a child that is, is being, um, having a need, right? And so, um, if they have this need and we're able to address it, then we need to do our best to, and we need to stay away from leading any child astray or any believer in general. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for showing us not to harden our hearts today. Thank you for helping us bridle our tongue and be conscious of hurting others, including other believers, as well as other children. Lord God, help our children, help us, help us believers to stand in your word. Help us to put our trust in our hope in you. We love you, Lord God. We ask you, Jesus, to just let us be able to operate fully in the fullness of you, Lord Jesus. In your mighty name, I pray. Amen. 
All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you, if you would like to receive Jesus as your savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. And I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he is going to show you the way and he's going to bless your path. One of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down, read your word, chew on your word and talk to him. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So begin to seek his face today while he may be found. Amen. All right. Um, one of the things that Christ wanted us to do and not forsake was the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Go out, find a church home, find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God, as well as um, go out and tell others about him. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.